Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm finally gonna design a background based on your ideas again. It's been a hot minute since the last time, sorry for that. In one of my earliest episodes I designed the first regional rodent, please check it out if you haven't, and today we're gonna design the second regional rodent, or well, mammal of the region, which has a pretty unique evolving method and is based on three comments and concepts I got in the comment section. The first stage is based on the garden door mouse and it will have two split evolutions one that will be considered the good one and one considered the bad one. Let's get right into it. So, Missy Doopop suggested to base the regional rodent on a garden door mouse and translate the black pattern on its face into a mask, like burglars were them. I really liked the idea and instantly had an image in my mind. The body shape is more resembling of a bowl, bowl like Admiral Maldonado suggested, and the pose is very similar to Avalmod, but a larger part is covered up by its huge tail. I gave it some gloves like a stereotypical burglar. The garden door mouse has a long tail that I made more fluffy. It uses the tail to steal and store items from trainers. When walking around in the Germansburg region, it is not uncommon that this wild fake one will swoop at you and steal one of your items. It's usually nothing rare or valuable since it just wants to try out if it can steal something. Since this would be an overworld encounter, you could chase and battle them to get back your item. I haven't mentioned this before, but all fake mon could be seen in the overworld, like in the Sword and Shield games. This is also the case for cities. I want to make cities more interesting, so there would be wild fake mon in them. Not as many as in the outside, but still. Like for example this line, but also fluffling the regional bird or a cylinder on a wall. They won't attack you though, you have to walk into them. But I think this will make cities more lively and in the real world you can also find animals in cities like doves, sparrows, mice, rats and so on. And on rare occasions also rabbits, foxes or even boars. So you are gonna have the possibility to catch a few fake men for your team in cities, but you have to look for them since they are more rare here. And more hidden, they are also more hidden. This first stage would probably have the ability pick up. Also, each of them look a bit different when it comes to their tail, since they're decorated with the items they've picked up, and since they pick up different items, they look different. If you defeat one, there is a chance they drop one of the items, and you can pick it up. However, if you do so, the fake one is more likely to attack you again to steal the item back. I don't know how well that would work in an actual game, but in my head it's really funny. Imagine getting an arch nemesis on like Route 1 or 2, and it's a cute little mouse fake one. <laughs> <laughs> and here is Gilly Ball from the scientific term Glyride Illegal and Ball. Super happy how the drawing turned out. I think it captures the mischievous personality of the fake one without looking actually evil or dangerous. It has two split evolutions and the way you evolve them is pretty unique, but it fits the evolution perfectly. Let's start with the first one. Its personality is very Robin Hood-like and the design is also based a bit on him, like Missy Doopop suggested. It still steals items from trainers, most of the time berries or potions to give to hungry or hurt fakemon in their territory. However, they always make sure the trainers left with enough to support their own fakemon. In game there would be three possible encounters. The ones that steal from you, you can however run after them to get the item back. Encounter 2 is the fake one approaching and blocking your way. You can either battle it or give it a berry. If you give it a berry, it will come back later to give you an item, probably a nugget or something similar. And in encounter 3, you are approaching the fake moon and offering them one or more berries. In this case, it and the fake moon that it helped will come back to you and give you a bunch of items. I'm all for more interactions between mons and humans, I just I think it's cool. As you can see, it is posed in a more agile pose, like it is in the middle of doing a jump kick or jumping down from a higher point. The hair on its head are formed a bit like uh, the head Robin Hood wears, and it has a few little gems on there as well. Its paws have a pattern that resembles those archer gloves. The tail is not covered in fur anymore, it can be used to hang from trees and swing from branch to branch. There is also a marking on its chest resembling a belt of a quiver. The colors were a bit hard to decide, cause I knew I didn't want them to be mostly black and grey like in the base form. In the end I settled for a black, brown, light grey and brown color scheme. The part of its head is black cause I needed something that looked connected to the mask from the previous form and because it looks a bit like those masks burglars wear, where only the eyes are uncovered. I figured that would be connection enough. I drew this design a few months ago, but I couldn't come up with the other split evolution and I have to say I'm more happy with it than I initially was. It definitely has the vibe I was going for, but I probably should have changed the gems to berries. 
but I didn't want it to look too much like a grass type because it's not a grass type. Gillibowl evolves into this evolution when it gets 10 level ups after defeating other Fakemon. It has to deal the last hit to defeat a Fakemon. It's okay if you switch out your Gillibowl during the battle, but it has to deal the last hit. I hope that was understandable enough, it is quite a complicated evolution method to put in words. And here it is, Gillifair from the words Gliride, Illegal, Fair and Fey. It is a normal fighting type, usually the broad one runs are not that interesting and get thrown out of the team pretty fast. I try to make them more interesting, design and battle wise, but also their in-game role. And what do you think? Would you like such mechanics to interact with Fakemon in actual games? I think games would feel more realistic if there was such a thing. And now to the other evolution. It is based on a stereotypical portrayal of a gangster or mafioso. The design at first looked a lot like a bear, but I changed that to a more red like design, don't worry. This Fakemon rarely fights on their own and lets Gillibowl do all the dirty work for them, which is based on Carlos Comet. It also takes everything shiny the Gilwoods bring it and puts it in the big spots of fur it has, so it's very sparkly all the time. Their tanks are not very fast, aka very immobile. They have to cover up that fact and always look threatening, or like they could be a threat. Cause if their underlings realize it can't do anything against them, they will start stealing the gems and other valuables from their boss. Which means that if you encounter one with a lot of gems, etc., it was good at pretending to be a big bad fake man. If one loses all the gems, they won't attack the player anymore and can be found as static encounters that just sit around sad in a corner. If a Gillifair finds one, they will often feel bad for them and will try to cheer them up by bringing them some food and sparkly stuff, since they know that their other split evolution likes them. Now, depending on the personality of the fake one, it will either be grateful and show the Gillifair to help others, or it will be motivated to get back the rank and battle the Gillivals that betrayed them. While Gillifair are more popular in the nature, this one is more popular in cities, but not exclusive. On rare occasions you will find one blocking your way while you're exploring a town. And on incredibly rare occasions the same can happen on routes outside of cities, but together with the Gillifair. The main inspiration for the design was an obese rodent and a stereotypical depiction of a mafioso and one of those mafia heads. The hair on this fake moon are loosely shaped like one. It was a bit of a struggle to get the right balance between looking like a man-made object and a natural part of a fake man design. One of the ears is chipped to make it look more badass, but it probably happened because the fake man underestimated its size and accidentally got stuck. It also has a lot of golden elements like its eyes, the teeth and the multiple rings on its tail. It also has gloves like the other two fake men, however in this case they are white, since it lets its underlings do all the work and doesn't have to do its own paws. The shinies of the line are based on the thing to have a clean vest. In Germany the saying is called to have a white vest. It's used to describe someone as innocent. The saying stems from actual white vests that were popular clothing in this 19th century and I thought it would be an interesting shiny since every fake one of this line has a part that resembles clothing. I don't know if this whole concept may be a bit too much for one of the early rodents but I tried to make them interesting and this was the best thing I could come up with. This line is the second one, I think, that interacts with the player character in such a unique way. The other one is the Trubbish line, that has a similar thing going on. Gillivol will evolve into this split evolution if it gains 10 level ups either through being switched out and not dealing the last hit, through XP share or through rare candies. It took me a few months until I was confident enough to tackle this design, but I'm happy I did, cause coming up with this one and rendering it was a lot of fun to me. And here is the final fake one for this video, Gilly Bling, from the bots Gliride, Illegal and Bling Bling, since it loves sparkly stuff. It now is a normal dark type and yeah, it's pretty tanky. I already said everything I wanted to say about this line. The next video will be another regional variant I'm really looking forward to. Please leave a like, subscribe and tell me in the comments what you think about this line and if you have any ideas you can also write them down. See you in the comments!